so guys this is the photo which we gonna add it just like in a prince edit so the very first thing we gonna do is just crop the photo for our instagram ratio that is 8 is to 10 or 4 is to 5 ratio from the crop tool right now just hit ok you can adjust the ratio by your way or by your choice right now the very first thing we gonna do is first of all we will select the photo or the model image with the help of quick selection tool so quick selection tool right so the very first thing select the quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subjects body to make a photo or the model to be selected you can also use the pen tool to select in a precise way i have already made a selection so you can see here i have already made a cutout now you're gonna just increase go to the file click on the liquify filter and select the liquify because i want my hair to you know stretch in a kind of perfect and fix the you know, angle of the hair in a proper way to make it look more stylish so i'm gonna just increase the you know hair's position so you can see the difference guys here is the before and here is the after it is really looking pretty perfect now we have fixed the hair now the next thing we're gonna do is first of all adding the background so go to the file click on open and here is the background you can just download this background from the links in the description just drag it and drop over here go to the edit select the free transform and just stretch it by pressing shift and alt key or you can also you know stretch it with the help of you know directly from any of the corner i'm gonna just you know place the this background image in such a way that it should fit my whole image so here i have made a transformation of the background now the next thing we're gonna do is adding uh, you know let's duplicate this background layer by pressing ctrl j and place this about top of the older layer now press select select the quick selection tool and just select some of the you know wooden tree over here with the help of quick selection tool and we're gonna just use this as our foreground image so just press ctrl j from the keyboard or just press you know layer copy now you can see here we have made a selection now go to the filter select the blur and select the box blur or you can just add a gaussian blur to the photo just make it to around 15.3% now press ctrl D and we're gonna just place this foreground blur image which will make your photo more dramatic so we're gonna just place this somewhere over here just like this way just make sure to maintain the originalism of the photo and just it may look more real so you have to you know place that uh, tree in such a way now again we're gonna just press ctrl j and duplicate that layer image and we're gonna just place this somewhere over here on the top right corner of the photo you can just place this anywhere else according to your choice but according to me just don't do don't place anywhere too much otherwise your photo will look more unreal which you don't want right so just keep it simple and kind of low only you know little bit of branches are seen over here it should look like that way now you can see it is really looking pretty perfect you can still adjust if you want now let's crop the image final let's select the crop and just hit ok now delete this layer now let's create new layer select the square marker tool and just you know fill it right click on it and select fill and fill it with 50% gray we are gonna just make a uh, you know, perfect skin dodge and burn it to the photo so just select the dodge from here tool and just make sure that exposure is around 10% right so just make a dodging on the skin over here just like this way this will create a perfect jaw lines to the photo and it will look more realistic and kind of cool like you know Tony Mahfoud and Vijay Mahar do uses this kind of techniques to you know make the uh, face dodge and burn so we are gonna use this dodge and burn technique to make it look more creative and perfect right so you can use this dodge and burn like this way the angle should be in a, in a proper direction this is the very important thing you have to you know keep when you are 
doing this dodge and burn technique that the in the brush in which you direction which you are you know painting that uh, dodging effect it should look more perfect on the, on the also on the nose tip adjust of the nose you have to paint it this with the dodge also on the forehead just like this way so that it may look more you know shiny and it will make your photo to look more kind of you know very impressive now let's select the burn tool and may here you have to make sure that the exposure of the burn should be of around 15 to 10 12 percent and just make darkness or the burning effect or this area so that it will create and kind of amazing texture so you can see the difference guys it is really looking pretty pop but that also you have to keep in mind that you may not do over the dodging and burning otherwise your photo will look drastically very you know garbage so you have to keep this in mind let's select the eraser tool and make the opacity to 28% because I want to reduce this you know the effect of the dodge burn so I'm gonna just erase this from the layer also on uh, from the top layer on the forehead so I'm gonna just uh, erase it just like only a minor tint I want on the face otherwise it will look more unreal which I actually don't want so overdoing of dodge burn is also not recommended let's select the blur tool and just select the subject layer and you have to you know blur the edges of the models because it should look you know more realistic so that it it should you know merge with the background so you, you no one would be able to identify whether you have cut out this image or not so it is very important to blur the edges when you have cut any of the object or the model layer so you have to you know blur this with the help of blur tool the only the edges just like this way so here we have finally done our process of you know blurring the edges now the next thing we gonna do is go to the background layer select the filter select the blur and select the box blur and make sure to blur only a little bit portion to around plus 10 or 12 don't add too much of blur on the background so you can see if I have added too much of blur it is looking very very unreal which I actually don't want so just make it to around 14 to 13 pixels on the background with the help of box blur now here we're gonna really add the you know the sunlight the cinematic look of the photo this is very important in this editing so let's create new layer select the brush tool and here you're gonna select the orange is you know orange is yellow tone of, of the color and make a one stroke of that color over here go to that edit select the free transform and press ctrl t now here you have to change the blending mode to screen and just place this somewhere or below the you know the foreground blur image of the you know tree bark which i we have put on the top of all the layers so just make it to kind of you know red this reddish tint of that color so you can see the difference guys it is really looking pretty perfect and kind of cinematic look it is giving to the photo now go to the background layer select the uh, control u from the keyboard and just reduce the cyan color from the image just make it around minus 65 only a little bit tint of the cyan color should look on the photo so you can see the difference guys it is really looking this you know amazing let's again create new layer and make sure to select the white color over here select one stroke of that and press again ctrl t from the keyboard and just place this somewhere over here so that it may look like a real sun uh, sun rays coming from that direction it will make your photo to look more i know dramatic and cinematic which we which you know which is a very key point of the editing now just merge all layers right click on it and select merge and again let's just crop the photo now here the next thing or the you know amazing process start that is of color grading so go to the filter select the camera filter and from here we're gonna just do our adjustment of the photo so the very first thing we're gonna do is uh, increasing the contrast in the photo it will bring an amazing depth effect of the photo and enhance your photo and just reduce a light highlights a little bit and let's increase the shadows a bit this is totally up to your convenience guys whatever adjustment you want in this you know uh, 
highlights contrast and shadows you can do it by yourself <coughs> now here go to the hue hsl tab of the yellow tone and just make it to around 0 or minus 100 because we we don't want the green details right so we are going to reduce it so also reduce the saturation or uh, saturation of that yellow color and also we gonna just reduce the saturation of the orange tone from here so you can see the difference guys it is bringing back the details and making your skin to look more gold is gold is red color which is a very kind of you know look amazing to the photo so you have to you know, this is a very important thing in color grading that you have to maintain the skin tone and it should look more shiny and kind of perfect you know I have seen a lot of pictures that many of them do just you know horrible the skin tone some of them just make too much of yellowish or too much of reddish which is very very bad guys here you have to maintain the originalism of the you know skin that is very important in color grading so we gonna just add a vignette to the photo you can just do it by yourself increasing the midpoint increase the roundness increase the feather and let's increase the highlights to 100 percent now this one is looking kind of very cool let's increase the matte effect so select the uh, curve tone rgb curve tone and just pump up from the uh, you know the bottom to upward position and just do it as shown in the video so you can see the difference guys. it is really making it look more matte this is a perfect tone for your photo now we're gonna increase the sharpness a little bit <clears throat> now go to the calibration tab and we're gonna just play with this red primary color only a little bit only a plus one or plus five would be pretty perfect and increase the saturation of the green primary color this is totally up to you so we're gonna just make it to plus three select the blue primary color and just make it to minus one would be pretty perfect i guess or minus two or minus three and just make the saturation to plus one don't add too much of this color correction so finally we have completed our process of you know color grading and it is really looking pretty perfect guys you can see the difference guys it is really looking very very amazing and cinematic now here we're gonna again just uh, select the marker tool and uh, just go to the uh, blending mode and select the overlay here select the dodge tool and again we're gonna just add a highlights on the skin on the hand region right this is also very important thing we have to highlight the hand hand so we're gonna just make it dodge over here just like this way you can see the difference now change it to soft light it is totally up to you if you want to increase the you know whiteness of the skin because by adding the vignette we have just uh, reduced this added this blackness to the hand also so we can just reduce it with the help of soft light now let's merge layer again let's create new layer and just fill it with 50% gray and here change the blending mode to overlay and again press ctrl d from the keyboard and select the dodge tool over here and we're gonna just add highlights make the exposure to around 20 and add the highlights on this area of the fingers because this will make your photo to look more creative and kind of very amazing so you can spot the difference also guys here's the before and here is after this is really looks cool now just merge both the layers now here you will find that your facial skin tone and also the hand skin tone are very different so we're gonna just fix it so just make press ctrl j and duplicate the layer now just press ctrl u from the keyboard and just pick on the skin tone on the face which you have to fix now let's decrease some saturation now you can see guys this we have attained that you know that perfect pinkish gold skin tone effect on the skin of the face 
so you can see the difference here's the before and here's after now i just want on the face region only so I, i'm gonna add a layer mask select the white color and just paint it only on the face so it will only you know affect on the face so you can see the difference because i just want the rest of the image as it is i just want it to affect only on the face so i'm gonna use the you know uh, layer mask you can also use the eraser tool to you know erase it the rest of the thing but layer mask is pretty perfect for all the editing if you want to undo or redo the both you can do with the help of layer mask so it is very much you know that helpful now let's again create new layer and select the you know orange is red tone change the blending mode to screen and again we're gonna just place this or this position to add more dramatic cinematic you know the lights to the photo now press ctrl u and just make a tint of you know kind of reddish tone so you can see the difference here's the before and here's the after it is really making your photo to like a perfect and amazing sunlight now again i'm gonna press the duplicate by pressing ctrl j and just make the fill to around minus tw uh, 21 percent just a little bit i just want on this portion now just merge all the layers let's crop the image for our final ratio so guys you can see the difference guys we have created a perfect cinematic you know edit just like you know that uh, prince edit which he uses in his instagram so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button so that it will motivate me to make more videos like this for you guys and if you still not subscribe then subscribe and visit our website that is www.ashvillecreations.com and filterpreset.com this both preset side website contains a more most premium collection of preset in the form of dng and lightroom and many more stuff like this also guys follow me on instagram just have actually so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video